Hi everyone, Ravi this side. Welcome to Engineering Adda. So today in this video we are going to discuss how we can integrate the MongoDB Atlas in our Spring Boot application and we'll try to perform the CRUD operation there in the Spring Boot application. Okay. So first of all we'll try to set up our MongoDB Atlas so that we can integrate it in our Spring Boot CRUD application. Okay. So let's get started for that. So here uh, what we'll do we'll try to set up the mongodb atlas what is mongodb atlas so mongodb atlas is nothing but it is a mongodb storage which is on the cloud okay as simple as that so let's get started for that so let me go to the browser and let me try to search for the mongodb atlas and here we find the result go to this mongodb atlas database and we need to create our account here so you can go to the sign in and you can choose any of them so i'm going to log in with the google so just select the google here and let me provide the email here so it is in jadda for you at the red gmail.com okay provide the password and i have opened the two step verification so it will send one notification to my mobile and then i will approve it from here so it has sent me one code let me try to open my mobile yeah Three nine one three four three. Just sign in there. Okay, and then you need to accept the policy here. Just accept and click on the submit. Okay, so here you can see registration success and use your account to deploy the cloud database with the mongodb atlas and contact support so yeah it will load our dashboard here so just wait for a few second and then we are good to go So you can see here it is asking uh, what is your goal today. So let's say I'm going to say learn MongoDB or you can also select build a new application, migrate an existing application, explore what I can build. So these are the options that it has given us. So first of all, let me try to select the learn MongoDB. What type of application are you building? Uh, let's say microservices or API what is your preferred language you can provide the java here and then finish okay it will yeah this is what our dashboard is this is the mongodb atlas dashboard so here you need to select the provider of your cloud so let me try to select the aws and you need to select this free one not this m10 or serverless so just select the free uh, let's say the provider is aws you can select the reason let's say i'm going to select the reason as what is there india is there or not yeah india mumbai we have and here you can provide the cluster name let's say my cluster name is engineering adda okay and now you can create your cluster or cloud you can say here it is asking some security related questions security quick start to access the data stored in atlas you will need to create the user and set up the network security controls how would you like to authenticate your connection let's say i'm going to use the username and the password so here you need to provide the username 
and the password so you can see the username it has already picked up from our gmail and let me try to provide the password as password okay and then create user so here it is saying password provided is too weak it is mostly common so let me try to use like engineering at the for you at the rate one two three four five okay so we have provided the username and password and now you can come here come down and you can see it is asking for the IP so you can directly use this option add my current IP address okay so you can see it as it has already taken up so you can remove it from here and then again you can edit so you can select this add and it has added it now you can choose this finish and close okay so go to the database and let me save this for now okay so you can see this is the database deployment and it has created one cluster for us and this is how our database deployment is looking like so the cluster name was engineering adda and here you can see a couple of options like connect view monitoring and browse collections okay so i will explain you all those things later on so this is how you can create your dashboard for the mongodb atlas okay now you can go to the browse collection to see what all collection you have uh, right now we don't have any collection but let me try to go there so you can see we don't have any database and the collection as of now now let me try to go to the database again and you can uh, go and explore all these options okay so just wait for a few seconds now you need to go to this connect if you go to this connect you can see there are a couple of options to connect connect with the mongodb cell connect your application connect using mongodb compass connect using vs code so here we are going to use this connect your application okay to the cluster using mongodb native drivers so just click on it and here you will see this link which is having the mongodb url okay so just copy this and you can open a notepad here and let me try to paste it here here we have the password we need to replace this password so let me try to replace this password with our password which was engineering at the for you at the rate one two three four uh, okay so I think we need to replace the at the rate also with some characters so I, later on I will try to do that so just come here and close this so this is what uh, you need to keep in mind how you can create your uh, mongodb dashboard mongodb atlas dashboard okay so when you done with this all things then in the coming videos or in the coming lectures we'll try to create one spring boot application and then we'll use this url which we get from the mongodb cluster and try to integrate in our spring boot application so this is about the video guys if you like the video please hit the like button and please subscribe the channel for more such content thanks